Sevilla. If a motorist or a motorcyclist is taking medication which may affect their driving, what should they do? Drink plenty of water while driving. Avoid taking your medication while driving. Seek medical advice in relation to driving. Drive for short distances only. What should a driver do on a narrow road when another vehicle is coming in the opposite direction? Reduce speed and allow reasonable clearance between their vehicle and the oncoming one before proceeding. Expect the other driver to pull off the road and allow you to pass. Maintain position and expect the other vehicle to move over if necessary. Drive along the middle of the road to encourage the other driver to pull in. How can a faulty exhaust affect your vehicle? It can increase wear on the engine. It can improve fuel consumption. It can reduce engine noise. It can increase the noise and pollution levels. What should a driver do in this situation? Sound the horn as a warning and proceed. Maintain speed and not expect other children. Reduce speed and be prepared to stop as other children could follow. Drive on quickly in order not to delay following traffic. Where are the blind spots on a truck for its driver that a driver in a car behind the truck needs to be aware of? The portion of the windscreen covered by the sun visor, the areas to the front, sides and rear which the driver of the truck cannot see, parts of the road ahead which are obscured by other large vehicles, the goods or cargo area in the back of the vehicle. What should a driver do when turning right at this junction? Allow the blue car to proceed. Allow the red car to proceed. Allow both cars to proceed. Proceed ahead of both cars.
When is double parking permitted? When there are double yellow lines? When there are double white lines? When there is a hard shoulder? Double parking is never permitted. What does this sign mean? With flow bus lane ahead, parking only inside the white line, tram lane on right, bus and tram lane on right, When driving a vehicle, what effect could icy roads have? Tire grip improves with lower temperatures. The vehicle could skid more easily than normal. Rear tire treads could wear out more quickly. Front tire treads could wear out more quickly. What should a driver do if they arrive at the scene of a collision involving a vehicle carrying hazardous materials? Try to move the vehicle to a safe place. Try to prevent any further leakage of hazardous materials before raising the alarm. Wave a white flag to approaching traffic to indicate the presence of hazardous materials. Keep well clear and raise the alarm. How can sunlight affect visibility in a car with grimy windows? It can create a mirror effect and reduce visibility. It can cause objects to seem closer than they are. It can enhance visibility. It can cause objects to seem further away than they are. What effect does carrying a load have on a vehicle's braking ability? It increases the distance required to stop. It reduces the distance required to stop. It increases the efficiency of the brakes. It has no effect provided the brakes are good.
When must the holder of a learner permit display L plates on their car? When driving unaccompanied? When driving on their first learner permit? During daylight hours? At all times when driving? At traffic lights, a driver should take particular care for which road users coming up on the left. Trucks. Motorcyclists. Cars. Vans. Where seat belts are fitted to a car, when must adult occupants wear them? Only on journeys exceeding 10 kilometers. Only on long journeys. Only on journeys outside built up areas. At all times. How does wet weather affect a vehicle's engine performance? It causes the engine to run at a higher temperature. It causes the engine to run at a lower temperature. It has no effect on power output. It reduces the power output. What should the driver allow for when following the bus on an icy road? A shorter braking distance? A longer braking distance? Same braking distance as in wet conditions? Same braking distance as in dry conditions? What is the purpose of a catalytic converter? To curb exhaust noise levels only on diesel powered vehicles? To curb exhaust noise levels only on petrol powered vehicles? To reduce harmful exhaust emissions? To allow the exhaust system to be reconditioned?
What must a driver do when this sign is accompanied by a white stop line on the road? Stop only if there is traffic on the major road. Stop past the line. Stop at the line. Stop no more than one car length past the line. What should a driver do if they see a red warning triangle on the road? The driver should maintain speed, carry on and avoid the triangle. The driver should remove the triangle as it is causing an obstruction on the road. The driver should stop and await instructions. The driver should slow down and expect a hazard up ahead. If driving from A to B, what do these road markings mean? Only motorcyclists may cross the lines to overtake. A driver may cross the lines to overtake. Oncoming traffic may not cross the lines to overtake. A driver may not cross the lines to overtake. How does driving at high speed affect a vehicle's road holding? The wheel alignment keeps the tyres in full contact with the road. The road holding ability of the vehicle is reduced. The suspension compensates for any unevenness in the road surface. The road holding ability of the vehicle is increased. On a motorway, when should a driver use the hazard warning lights? When driving on the hard shoulder? When towing another vehicle? When another vehicle is following too closely? When the vehicle has broken down? What should a driver do if their vehicle breaks down on an automatic railway level crossing? Watch along the track to give warning to any approaching trains. Turn on the warning bells at the crossing. Get passengers clear of the crossing and phone the signal operator so that trains can be stopped. Try to push the vehicle clear of the crossing as soon as possible.
What should a driver do when leaving a motorway? Maintain the speed of the vehicle. Comply with the speed limit on the road the driver is joining. Reduce speed gradually for a few kilometers. Maintain the speed until traffic conditions make it necessary to slow down. When should a driver use hazard warning lights on a motorway? When the vehicle has broken down. When another vehicle is following too closely. When the vehicle is towing a trailer. When driving on the hard shoulder. What should the car driver be aware of in this situation? The road ahead is for cars and light vehicles only. The road ahead becomes a dual carriageway. Road marking is taking place ahead. Animals could suddenly appear on the road ahead. What does this sign mean? Two-way traffic ahead. Level crossing ahead guarded by gates. Unguarded level crossing ahead. Crossroads with dual carriageway ahead. What does this guard a signal mean? Stop if approaching from front. Turn left. Turn right. Stop if approaching from behind. What does this traffic light mean? Stop unless it is unsafe to do so. Prepare to move off. The traffic lights are out of order. Proceed if the way is clear. What does this sign mean? Tram track, cyclists beware. Series of bends ahead. Trams may block cyclists from your view. Cyclists and trams only ahead.
What should a driver do when overtaking a large vehicle that is throwing up spray? Drive close to the other vehicle in order to make use of its slipstream. Move out earlier than normal and give extra clearance. Increase speed in order to reduce time spent in the danger area. Overtake in an exaggerated loop and use the windscreen wipers. When is a red flag a sufficient marker for a rear load overhang that exceeds one meter? Only during the night. At all times. At no time. Only during the day. What should a driver do if their vehicle breaks down in a tunnel? Flag down a passing motorist and ask for help. Walk to the end of the tunnel and call the guardie. Wait in the vehicle until help arrives. Use the emergency telephone to call for help. What should the driver do when driving a vehicle they are not familiar with? Drive initially with extra care and at a lower speed than normal. Avoid any long journeys until they are more familiar with the vehicle. Drive faster than normal in order to assess the vehicle's capability. Drive at a normal speed and become accustomed to the vehicle's features over time. What should a driver do before getting out of the vehicle? Open the door and exit the vehicle without delay. Check their side mirror and look behind before opening the door. Check the interior mirror before opening the door. Open the door part way and then look behind. What should a driver do at an amber traffic light? Continue as there is no traffic at the junction. Make sure to pass the lights before they turn red. Stop at the line unless it is not safe to do so. Continue only if sure that the junction is clear of pedestrians.
What should a driver do when driving at night on an unlit road? Watch out for stray animals or livestock. Drive on the centre of the road. Drive close to the left to avoid oncoming traffic. Drive as close as possible to the line of reflective studs. What should a driver do when driving in dense fog? Drive with dipped headlights and fog lights. Drive with headlights and fog lights. Drive with side lights and hazard warning lights. Drive with side lights and fog lights. What do rumble strips warn a driver of? A stop sign ahead, end of motorway, slippery road ahead, a danger immediately ahead or to the side, You have bought a sat-nav for your vehicle. What is the best way to configure the device so it won't distract you while you drive? Stop at the nearest safe place for your vehicle prior to making any needed changes to the sat-nav. Let the sat-nav recalculate your route while you are driving. Type your intended destination into the sat-nav while you are driving. Stop your vehicle straight away so you can view the sat-nav's display and make any necessary changes. Stop your vehicle straight away, so you can view the sat-nav's display and make any necessary changes. Circular. Octagonal. Eight-sided. Rounded rectangular. You are planning to overtake a vehicle, but a sign tells you that there is a hidden dip ahead. What should you do? Activate your headlights prior to overtaking. Do not overtake until you have a clear view of the road ahead. Overtake the vehicle as fast as you can. Veer right so you can get a better view. Which type of glasses are unsafe to wear when driving at night? Rounded glasses. Glasses with tinted lenses. Bifocals. You are going straight on at the next roundabout. You need to turn on your left indicator as you join the roundabout. 
Avoid indicating at all times. Turn on your right indicator as you join the roundabout. Turn on your left indicator prior to exiting the roundabout. The statutory off-road notification, also known as a SORN, is valid for as long as the vehicle still works, for 10 years, until the warranty on the vehicle runs out, until your vehicle is taxed, sold. While traveling down a steep hill, some drivers hold the clutch down or put the gearbox in neutral. If done for prolonged periods of time, this can be dangerous because it can harm your engine and lower its lifespan. The vehicle can gain speed quickly. It can increase tire wear. It can increase. During heavy snowfall, you should only make short journeys, only make necessary journeys, keep your mobile phone with you at all times, you activate your The anti-lock brakes on your vehicle will be activated when you apply full pressure to your brake pedal. You fail to notice a danger ahead of you. You fail to brake in sufficient time. You are driving. You are involved in an accident in which someone suffers a burn. A burn should be called for at least 0.1 hour, 20 minutes, 30 minutes.